Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. T4 students, I hope all of you are doing good. Thank you for watching my video in this channel. Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss subtopics in handling data. Well, you all are aware that data means information, and we are going to sort information in many ways. You have learned previously how to store it in bar graph and also line graph from the given table. And in this video, you are going to have some overview. And the next thing is, you are going to learn about Venn diagram and also Carroll diagram. What are those? Let's check it together. Now let's move on to Venn diagram. What is Venn diagram, sir? Venn diagram is a way representing sets of items by using their relationships to decide how they should be grouped together. Or in Bahasa, we use Venn diagram untuk mengelompokkan dalam kategori tertentu dan kolom tengah menandakan suatu yang common atau yang sama di antara dua kelompok tersebut. Okay. Venn diagram is usually in the shape of circle, or oval, or rectangle, or whatever. But the main thing is, there is a middle part intersecting, and these are showing the common things. Okay, are you ready to know what is Venn diagram? Let's take a look. This is the categories that I put. Things in a pencil case, and also things are red. Of course, things in pencil case usually comes also in red, so we put it in the middle. Let's take a look at the first object. Cling! What is it? Yes, a sharpener. What does a sharpener belongs to? Where the sharpener belongs to? Is it red? No. But is it in a pencil case? Yes. So we put it in a pencil case. The next object. Oh, an eraser, a rubber. Well, pencil eraser, there's a red color in it. It's also in the pencil case. So, where we will put it? We will put it in the middle. Yes. Cling. Oh, what is it? It's a rose. Do you put the rose in a pencil case? No, usually not. So, but it is red color. So, we put it here. Yes, we put it in group oh what is it it's a ruler does it come in red no so it is put in pencil case only what is the next object Cling. ah fish is it a pencil case no is it red color no so where will put the fish just outside these circles yes there is objects you can put outside the venn diagram so how many total objects are there let's see in the pencil case only there are two objects the object that is in common which is in pencil case also comes in red there is one object and the object that is red but not in the pencil case there is one object and the object which is not in pencil case and not red color there is one object if the question comes how many objects are there in a pencil case two plus one that is three objects one two three but if the questions stated only then there should be you count only this part don't count the middle part okay next okay let's take a look on this venn diagram there are three circles because there are three categories it is okay okay the first category is the parrot has one leg has a parrot has a beard what is the meaning of pirate? Baja cloud, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look on the first guy. Cling. Whoa. 
This guy has one leg. Okay. But does he have a parrot? No. Does he have a beard? No. So we'll just put him in this. Okay, the next guy. Okay, let's see here. He has two legs. So he doesn't belong to the first the first guy. He doesn't have a parrot and obviously he doesn't have a beard. So he doesn't belong to any of the circle. We put him outside. Okay. Let's see the next guy. Okay, here we have. the guy has a parrot and also has one leg. So where will he belong? That's right. This guy. Oh, okay, this is special, yeah. Has a parrot and also has one leg. Let's see the other guy. This guy has beard. He doesn't have a parrot and he has two legs. So he belong here. Next. Okay, there's a lady. She has parrot. She doesn't have a beard. And she has two legs. So she only belongs to this category. Let's see, this kid, oh my god. He already has one leg. He doesn't have a beard and doesn't have a parrot. So he belongs here. Next. Oh, this big guy. He has beard. He has parrot. He has also one leg. He belongs to three of the categories. Yes. He will be in the center because he has all properties, all categories. Let's see this guy. This guy doesn't have a beard. This guy doesn't have a parrot. And obviously, oh, he has two legs or he doesn't have legs. Well, then he belongs outside. Now, do you understand? Yes. This is how you categorize the pirates. If there are three categories. Let's have a look on Carol diagram. Well, what is Carol diagram? It is a four square table used to sort objects based on two different characteristics. Well, basically it is a table. Diagram is also a table. For example, this is a table and the characteristics are do not memorize and also memorize. And the next category here is boys and also girls. Based on two different characteristics and the characteristic is opposite to each other. Yes? Easy. Let's take a look. Now there are some numbers. 5, 6, 14, 21, 22, and also 25. We want to put them in a table. Then the correct table, specific table for them to use will can be Carol diagram. Well, here are the properties. Divisible by 3, not divisible by 3, odd numbers, and also even numbers. Take a look at the first number, that is 5. Where does 5 belong to? Is it odd number? Yes. Is it divisible by 3? Mm, no. So, we put 5 here. The next number is 6. Is it odd number? No. Is it divisible by 3? So 6 will be here. Next is 14. 14 is an even number, but it is not divisible by 3. It cannot be divided by 3. So we put 14. No, no, no. Here. Yes. We have 21. 21 is odd number at the same time it is divisible by 3 so 21 should be here and then we have 22 22 is an even number and it is not divisible by 3 so 22 will be here last we have 25 25 is not divisible by 3 and it is also odd number so we put it here. Okay, do you get it guys?
Now there is another carol diagram here. Yes, as mentioned before, it is just consists of four rectangles or square. The properties are four-sided, not four-sided, and then all sides equal and not all sides equal. Take a look at the first object or first shape. We have a square. Where does square belong to? Yes, it is four-sided at the same time, all sides equal. Next object, cling. Oh, a triangle. It's not four-sided. But does it have equal side? Yes, it is equilateral triangle. So we put it here. Cling. Oh, a rhombus. Is it four-sided? Yes. All sides equal? Yes. So we put it here. Cling. Do you remember what is this? Yes, it is a hexagon. Hexagon is not four-sided. And here is not all sides equal. So we put it here. The next shape will be cling. Do you remember what is it? It is a trapezoid. Trapezoid has four sides, but it doesn't have equal sides. Cling. Oh, this is it is a triangle and it doesn't have four sides and not of not all the sides are equal. So we put it here. <laughs> okay. Don't get tricked. Cling. Okay, last object. It is four sided. But only two sides are equal, not all sides. So we put it here. Got it? Last, we have a pentagon. Yes, it is a pentagon because it has five sides. And all of its sides are equal. So we put it here. Understand, guys? This is how you answer questions in Carol diagram. We put, we sort the objects into the categories. Okay, I hope all of you understood the lessons. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Don't hesitate to contact Mr. Pausan if there's any question. Don't forget to drop comments, likes, and also subscribe. See you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.